Michelle Seabrook is a busy mother of three. She works full time as a nurse and is constantly on the go. I'm on my feet all day, I would say. But under her scrubs, the 41 year old is hiding something she finds embarrassing, spider veins. I had it with the spider veins. Michelle says she's tried all kinds of home remedies, like rubbing apple go. cider vinegar on them, but nothing has worked. I would like especially like longer skirts that would cover everything. But with summer here, their legs are hard to hide. As soon as I get out of the water, I grab a cover up, a towel, anything I can to cover up my legs. Ugly purple spider veins. Her husband, Steve. She said that if she could figure out a way to, to get rid of them, easily and effectively that she would definitely look into it. Now she's in. finally found the answer here at New Jersey's Vein and Vascular and Institute. Dr. Charles Dietzik says she ready. came just in time. They can get bigger and more noticeable uh, over time. Uh, the veins will become more engorged because withstanding that chronic pressure within the veins causes those veins to enlarge. Dr. Dietzik prepares ultra thin needles and syringes filled okay. with a foaming solution called esclera. In this case, what we're looking to do is destroy the inside of the vein. He uses a vein reading and device to see below the skin, pinpointing pinch. where to inject. Now we can see this big blue vein that's underneath the skin that is then feeding all of these little spider veins. Now watch that large vein disappear. Next, he so treats the unsightly vein network vein, of spider veins like behind vein. Michelle's knees and upper Blind thighs. Vein. This is a very common area for women to get spider veins. Do you feel anything? I barely feel it. It will take a couple of weeks for the veins to actually vanish for good. Three weeks later, Michelle is shopping for outfits she hasn't dared to wear in 20 years. I never would have worn this before. Even a pair of super short Daisy Dukes. I feel great.